In today's episode, we are gonna be covering our large format printers. Now, before we go into too much detail, I thought I'd rather show you than explain to you the three different types of inks that are available for the large format printers. So in order to do so, we're gonna head on over to our warehouse to show you and explain to you which inks do what so that you know which one is best for you. So we're here at my warehouse today and we're going to be showing you the three different types of inks that we have available and in front of me here we have the sublimation printer doing a test print at the moment so while that's busy we're going to head over to our eco and uv and give those an explanation so here we have our 1.6 uv printer now what makes it uv other than having a uv light which is located either on the left or right hand side of your print head and basically what that does is it cures the ink as it's coming past and moving left and right and it cures it instantly so that when you are ready to and cut this job off you can start using it immediately and what else that also does is it makes it a matte finish rather than a gloss finish like your other inks like eco solvent the best thing about UV is the fact that you can go ahead and use it immediately afterwards. And it's also got a good scratch resistance compared to other inks, where this has a bit more resistance to chemicals and has a UV resistance more so than eco solvent. So this is going to allow you to use this outdoors without even needing to laminate your vinyl so that you have a better and longer lifespan with your inks under the UV rays of the sun. And that's basically the just of the UV ink. But what can you do with it? Well, the question is whatever you can think you can do with it. Anything you can print on, which means you don't have to do just vinyl. You can lift up your paint rollers up to about three millimeters, depending on which model you have purchased. You can even go even higher than that, which allows you to then print directly onto Corex, Perspex, wood, glass, and the list is endless, where you don't need to apply a pre-applicant before you just start printing. And the reason for that is because it's UV and the UV lamp cures the ink instantly, it means that it's hardened and it's also got a flexible layer to it so you can bend your ABS plastic and other substrates so the ink doesn't just crack off. That is the best thing about the UV ink, is that you've got a wide variety of substrates that you can print on. And even so, just to help you, this printer also comes with, as an optional extra, to purchase a bed that sits in front and back of the printer, which allows you to put a piece of heavy chromadec and print directly onto it edge to edge and not worry to hold in front or back of the printer which allows you to do a lot more precise printing and that's basically it for the uv printer now that you have a better understanding of what uv is let's talk about our eco solvent the most used ink worldwide and there is a reason for it not only because it's cheaper than uv but because it was there first the only difference between UV and Eco is the fact that you have to wait for this to dry and it turns out gloss rather than matte. The biggest thing with Eco is letting it dry, yes, but it also isn't scratch resistant. So if me just doing that removes ink, which is a problem, whereas UV is a bit more resistant to scratching and other chemicals. So Eco solvent being cheaper, which means you can print a lot more than UV and get a lot more out of the price that you pay for the inks. But the one thing that this can do that UV cannot is wallpaper. Now that's something that you have to consider between choosing these two machines. The fact that you cannot do wallpaper with UV kind of makes it a very difficult choice to whether or not you have both or you're only picking eco solvent. If you're gonna be doing a lot of wallpaper installations in the future and that's what you want to do, then I would suggest getting the eco solvent purely because the eco solvent embeds and has time to soak into the material whereas UV is cured instantly on top and cannot soak into the canvas wallpaper. As well as when you go and apply it, you end up scratching your ink off from the UV printer because it's not embedded in your material. So when it comes to car wrapping as well, you also want to do eco solvent because it has time to adhere to the vinyl and that means when you're wrapping, it can stretch around it. 
Not to say that UV can't, but it depends on whether or not you've got flexible or hard inks. So, in that case, I would choose the Eco Solvent. If you're going to be headed towards car wrapping or wallpaper printing, then this is going to be your best bet. Well, if you're not going to be doing full color, you can also choose the Eco Solvent because this is great at using less ink than your UV and it has a more vibrant color space because it turns out gloss and not matte. So there's a lot of consideration that needs to be taken into place before you choose these two printers. Other than that, Eco Solvent is a fantastic ink to have or use in any application. You may just want to use a laminator to laminate your stuff for signage because you need that extra UV protection and the scratch resistant in case someone comes along with a chemical, cleans it and your ink gets taken off and then you're blamed for a terrible job. So just keep that in mind if you're going to go for eco solvent for signage you're probably going to need a laminator just to match with this so that you do not have that problem other than that these two are perfect to choose for signage whether you're in a hurry you want to use the uv if you've got time to wait 24 hours before cutting into your ink then eco solvent may be the best choice for you so that is it for these two the next we need to do is sublimation so our sublimation printer is finished and here we have what looks to be a dull print. But don't fear, this is printed in reverse, so all those vibrant colors that you saw on those other two printers are actually here, but the process is completely different, so let's get into that. Sublimation works on two factors. One, the fact that you are using dye ink, which is put onto paper, which needs to be transferred to material via heat press. The second, is that everything is in reverse so although it looks like it's an extremely dull print this is really not once we heat press this it will become so vibrant that it'll knock the uv and eco straight out the park because of how this ink works so how are we going to use this for signage well other than around me being so many examples the best thing that you could do for this is doing your harp fin bangers gazebos big banners wall banners um, clothing as well as doing sublimated teardrops or pull-up banners or even along the tennis court all of your branding there on the nets this has such a wide variety that you can use to do for signage as long as you understand that there is nothing that you are applicating this to rather you need a frame to either wrap it around or to secure it to because we're going to be doing fabric most of the time now with sublimation you have to remember that any fabric that you're wanting to transfer your ink to over 200 degrees with a roll to roll heat press or a clamshell heat press you need to consider that everything has to be polyester and that means that you cannot use cotton based fabrics which also is a good thing because signage means you're out in the sun synthetic materials will last longer purely because they are higher temperature resistant compared to your other natural fabrics. So like this banner there behind me, you wanna make sure that you have at least minimum 60% polyester and at least minimum 40% cotton so that you have a good mixture for the colors to actually adhere to when you heat press. Because anything that is natural like cotton, the ink will not adhere to it. The moment water touches it, it will run off and then you end up with very little color on your material. So you want to make sure that you have that understood right now. There is no using of any cotton when it comes to sublimation. So that covers all three different types of inks and printers that we have. Now that you've seen that, I encourage you to go to AM's YouTube channel to go and look at all those videos that I've done in the past that shows you everything that these machines are capable of because there's nothing better than watching what it can do so that it also gives you ideas of what you may need so that you can make that decision correctly on what printers you need. Instead of maybe buying one, maybe you want all three. That decision is up to you to choose. So thank you for watching and when you are there on that AM YouTube channel, click the bell icon so that you can get notified on the next video so that you can see what else we have to offer. So thanks for watching.